All right, people, here we go. First look, retail pair, retro eight, cool gray. Uh, sorry about the light. I just had to pretty much brighten it up so it can be pretty much the best representation of the color shade. It was a little tricky dealing with this camera. Excuse me, trying to show you guys the exact color representation. Like, you know, I don't want you guys to be thinking that it's uh, a light gray or, or dark gray. This is pretty, pretty much like a mirror image, like coming through the camera right now. So here you guys can see pretty much this is the shoe that you're going to get. You know, it, it's not uh, any darker. It's not any lighter. Um, as far as the materials go, it's nice materials, man. It's, it's nice. It's, uh, it's not as soft as like say, uh, uh the cause for, but it's, it's pretty much damn close. It almost seems like, you know, Hey, uh, leftover material on a, on a cause for, let's put it on a cool gray eight. Is is no different, you know. Even though this is pretty much like a, a limited GR release, meaning yes, everybody will have it, but the quantity won't be like you know a store is getting like maybe 150, 200 pairs of these. That's not the type of quantity that they're gonna get. Uh, it's gonna be like pretty much a small quantity, but a general release. So, uh. That's why I said, like, as far as the, the, the comparison that I'm making with the cause for, do not be alarmed about me saying, oh, you know, it's, it's a cause for the $1,500 shoe resale or no. As far as the material go, this is the exact same gray, exact same material. It's no different. That shoe just had height. That's it, you know. Don't get me wrong, the cost for it is a nice shoe, but it's pretty much the same material. It's, it's no different. Um, this is a very, very nice shoe. It's a retro eight, it's well constructed as always. A lot of retro eights are never um pretty much made defective. Like you might have like your like the inside booty or something might be, you know, a little off, but for the most part, as far as like glue stains and everything like that, it's not retro eights never really come like that because of so many um overlapping materials. They it's it's pretty much a well constructed shoe. It's uh, pretty bulky, heavy, sturdy. On the medial side, as you guys can see, not a lot of glue stains, pretty much damn near non existent actually. Uh the leather, the leather back here. It could have been better, you know, don't get me wrong, right where the straps are, and even the leather right there on the straps could have been better, but okay. Um, it's nice and plush here. Most most retro eights are never really plush. You got your uh, 1993 detail. They've been doing that with a lot of the retro eights. The size tag nice and clean stitching get it to focus okay there we go nice clean stitching um the rib sock liner reminiscent of the uh retro 13 gray school wolf gray that's releasing also, the, the black uh, and pink Retro 5 for the grade school, it's the same type of detailing that they use on that tongue. They put it inside the sock liner. The Jumpman. Nice, clean Jumpman. Got his fingers. A little fuzziness. Nice and clean. 23. Good and stitched. You see it actual material changing a little bit as far as the color shade it's, it's uh this is very very nice material 
very nice material. It's like I said, it's not soft, but it's soft. It's uh, it's the nice thick, hairy material. As you can see, color changing. It, man, this is pretty much a cause for. Like, don't don't let anybody tell you any different. This is a nice shoe. If you like retro eights, they did this shoe right for you guys. Me personally, I'm not a fan of eights, but uh. This is definitely going in the collection. This as well as the uh, Green 8 that just recently released. Um, these are some very nice constructed 8s. And it's kind of funny, too, when you think about retro 8s. It's like, how is it that the, the new colorways of retro 8s are selling out, but the OG colorways were sitting? And then when you think about the other Jordan retros that has been releasing from the past couple years, you would think that the OG colorways are going to just move and they, and they don't like, you know, the, the other retros, new colorways sell out, but then the OGs, man, they, they just been, been sitting like, I don't, I don't even get that. Like the Aqua Apes, man, the motherfuckers was, Going on sale in these uh, retro eights, but if you look at the green eight, flew off shelves. Even the um, the 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 alternate playoff eight sold pretty well. Like that one is not sitting in a lot of stores either. And the reason why is because, like I just said, these are uh, general release sneakers, but. Nike Jordan brand are not making a lot of pairs like of the newer models. Um, real quick, I'm gonna just let them sit there for a little while. Uh, the the new models, like I said a couple years ago, this shoe it might have been like you know each store getting over a hundred pairs of these, but now each store getting like thirty six pair, pretty much. Uh. The, the quantity is down on the newer models. Even though, like I said, they still go into every store, but the quantity is not there. It, it almost seemed like, you know, Jordan brand is, is pretty much the shoes that you think should be limited are the ones that they mass produce. And then the ones that come out of nowhere, like a new colorway or something like that, they make it limited. Weird, but hey, it is what it is. That, that's their philosophy. Real quick, let's take a look at the inside. It's uh, gray on gray. Gray insole, gray jump man. Got your size and tag in there. I think I just broke that motherfucker. Get this out. Yeah, I just broke it. Shit, trying to get it out. A little paper underneath. Shoe tree. Nice thick detail. Eight and a half through ten. This is a size 10. So, 8, 9 through 10. So, that's how your joint should come. It's, this is a nice shoe. I'm liking this material. You see, it's big. Man, all I can say, that that's all I can say, man. This is this is definitely cause for material. Don't, don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Uh, uh, there you have it in a nutshell. The Retro 8 Cool Gray slated to release August 26. If you would like to pre-order these, you can do so right now at fineline1721.com. This is a very, very, very nice shoe. Well constructed, nice materials. If you like 8s, you're going to love them. If you don't like 8s, you're still going to like them. So... Please be sure 
to stop by fineline1721.com for these and other shoes. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter, same handle, fineline1721. And until the next video, bless up.